a serious issue. We um, were able to obtain footage this week, um, filmed on a mobile phone. Um, it was a regular pun to try and get a, a bet on in the betting shop. Now, obviously, for legal reasons, we've obscured the people involved, but it is quite interesting insight into how difficult it can be to get that bet on. 7.34, uh, Rose is rocking trap 2, uh, 25 max, how much, uh, 25 pound max, 25 pound, I own the dog, it's yeah, my I mean, dog, it's max. what for a sky race at Ho Sports tonight, yeah, yeah. it's only going to lay 25 pound at 9 to 2, can't you ring them up so I actually do own the dog? Well, I can't do nothing about it. It's been put in place. Why, they took loads of money on it or something? Or? Yeah. How comes the price hasn't moved then? It's just, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a local restriction. What do you mean you can't take this bet? I don't understand. Can you get out the shop, please? Can you take this bet? No, can you get out the shop, please? Why can't you take this bet? I don't understand why you can't take it. I can take it, but it has to be limited to ten pound on the race. Ten pounds on the race. This is off law and limit. So how much can I put in your machine behind you? There's no limit. Uh, look, this There's is no I'm limit. Trying. I'm sorry. If you'd like to leave. Okay, change it. To, change it to the limit then. No, you ch I'm not allowed to change your bet. I can't change and write out what you. You have to write the bet. But yeah, I've written the bet. Yeah, I, I want to lay. I want to lay out the bet. Leave, yeah, call the police. I say we do. We call the police. That's what we need to do. Yeah, I'll call the police. I'll call the police. I don't mind. What we need to do is call the police down here. Not taking no bets. That's, a, that's no, not, not you bad. know. If you, you don't, don't take bets, bet, you can't limit someone to ten pound on a bet, but you let someone put ten thousand no, pound in there. You can't just say it's a forty-five pound bet and you say you don't want to take it. Now obviously that's a, a very interesting subject. We'll talk about that pa uh, to the panel in, in a moment. We have got on the other end of the line uh, Mick McDermott who actually has uh, written a book about it. It's called uh, Speaking with uh, Full Tongues. Uh, good evening, Mick. Hello, Peter. Uh, good evening, Mick. I, I wanted to, I mean, I don't know if you had a chance to see that footage, but basically what we're trying to say at the moment is in, re in relation to restrictions and um, stopping of betting. Uh, how have you found that? And what, what is your view of it? Um, well, on all fronts, whether it's on phones, in shops, or on the internet, the situation has never been worse. All the major bookmakers have descended into what I call a moral cesspit, where anyone who has the slightest idea as to what they're doing with the betting treats it seriously. They try to eliminate them, to squeeze them out of the situation, to restrict the bets, to close accounts. And yet the sickest thing about all this is the PR that goes on in front of TV viewers every day, where the likes of charlatans and shysters like Skybet and Boyle Sports, who don't take bets at all and close accounts effectively when people have had only two or three bets, and the panel there can believe it or believe it not, but I've got evidence in the book from ex-account holders who could not access bets with these firms after two or three bets. Now, obviously, uh, Mick, we're all, we're, this is all your opinion. Um, no, it's not an opinion, Peter. Okay. These are facts. Okay, all right, but um, in, give me some examples. Mick, of, of what you've experienced, people that have uh, written to you about the book, of what, what, you, what you've experienced. Well, they've told me, for instance, that their accounts with Skybet, Stan James and Boyle Sports have effectively been closed after they've had only two or three bets. Uh, are these single bets? Are these accumulators? Yeah, let, 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 let's be honest. People, these are people who treat the betting seriously. They're not cannon fodder for bookmakers. They want to finish in front. They always want to take industry best price for the bets. And they maybe want bets of 50 each way at 8 to 1 or 10 to 1. And they are continually knocked back and squeezed all the time until eventually the traders want to get rid of them. And it's with all the firms. It may take a little longer to be knocked out of the equation by some rather than others. But the situation is appalling. It, I'll tell you what, this is an honest, considered opinion. If the major bookmakers continue on the decline in the next three years, 
that you've uh, had in the past three three years. So in three three or four years' time, continue down this spiral of bookmaking in this country. Uh, taking prices in the morning will represent nothing more than licensed theft. As bookmakers want to uh, concentrate on the riffraff, the ignorant, those who go in the, uh, go in the shops and throw a tenner on each race and get rid of everyone else, get people sitting on the fixed odds betting terminals, rip off the poor and the ignorant, and that's all they're interested in. Okay. We'll stop. And the evidence is in the book. Okay. Now, for, for anyone, uh, obviously, the picture of the book has come up there. How long did it take you to write it? And uh, presumably people who have uh, got problems, they, they contact you, Mick? Yeah, I'm quite happy for them to tweet me or email me with their experiences. I would hazard a guess, Peter, that at the end of this uh, little feature or at the end of the program, you will get some feedback from people which will prove my point. Can I just mention one latest scam? This is Ladbrooks. You, well, you're going to have to be very quick. I'll be very quick. Right. Latest scam, and I'd like the panel to quickly tell me at the end of this whether it's a scam. People with telephone accounts wanting bets with Ladbrooks, let's say they phone and want 50 quid on, they refer to traders. They will come back and say you can have 10 quid on that horse at the price, but you must have another 15 quid on something else because the minimum telephone bet is £25. They are being forced to bet something they don't want to bet in order to bet something that they do. I'd like the panel to tell me, is that a scam or not? Well, we're definitely going to talk about it in the second half, and I would also say that we did uh, contact Ladbrokes, and I contacted specifically David Williams to, to, to actually um, speak on this behalf, but they couldn't make it today. Um, it is a very interesting subject, but we're going to carry on with this in part two. I do appreciate your time, um, and obviously you're very passionate about it, So, and anyone wants the book, they can contact us or contact you, and it's just 10 pounds. It's £10 also on Amazon. It. Okay, all the best. Thank okay. you very much, Mick. Yeah,